This just in. It appears as though giant tripods have landed on Earth and begun to slaughter every human they can find. U.S. soldiers deploy in a desperate ploy to try and stop these giant tripods. But their primitive weapons don't appear to have any effect on the beasts. It's going to require a large-scale military operation to kill but one of these giant tripods. This is the War of the Worlds. Yo, what's going on gamers? It's your boy, Daily Tactics here, and today we're playing with a brand new Call to Arms mod. At least it's new to me, I think it came out uh, earlier this year. Either way, it is a War of the Worlds mod, an old uh, book that used to actually um, cause quite a strife in the media. War of the Worlds, and I think it was later made into like a Tom Cruise movie or something like that. I actually don't know the plot of the book very well other than these giant things come down and try to destroy the Earth, um, but there's some interesting real world uh, historical events that occurred due to uh, reading this on the radio. Uh, we'll get into that during this video, but either way, we're going to be having four of these giant tripods attacking hundreds of U.S. soldiers on this air base here. So uh, there's a few hundred, like 400 U.S. soldiers actually in the front lines here, along with Abrams, some strikers, etc., etc. But coming in as reinforcements is an entire convoy of strikers, Humvees, and M1 Abrams uh, with uh, soldiers inside of the strikers and on the Abrams to support as well. And there's another one of those identical to this over here. And this might seem like overkill, but actually to kill just one of these things is almost impossible. It requires a massive force. And I'm not even sure if this many soldiers and vehicles can do it. So we'll just have to see if that ends up happening. Either way, guys, if you want to see more of this mod in the future, please be sure to hit that like button. Let's try and get 700 likes in the first 24 hours. I think we could do that. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're working our way towards 400k and comment down below if you've ever heard of war of the worlds and uh what your impression of the sort of lore behind this is either way guys let's get into it Hey gamers, real quick, I want to just take a second of your time to tell you about Daily Productions, my second channel, where I used to post a lot more Let's Play content, but more recently I started uploading really high quality edited videos with funny moments, montages, as well as awesome storylines and things like that. Right now, the two videos up there that I am most proud of are some totally accurate Battlegrounds gameplay with me and Plastic Scott that was edited into a funny moments montage, as well as an Arma 3 Star Wars mod operation with the 187th, but I will be adding so much more content up to that channel in the near future. I'd really appreciate it if you went and checked out those videos and started watching over there as well if you're looking for some new places for content. Either way guys, hope you have a great day. On with the rest of this video. Alrighty then, gamers, we're in slow-mo, gonna press start right here and uh, see what ends up happening. Um, ooh, the game is paused. Unpause it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Either way, the U.S. Army begins to fire at some of these large tripods, and the tripods begin to fire at the U.S. Army, and you can see what I mean by these things being extraordinarily hard to kill. They just evaporate U.S. soldiers. They are so unbelievably brutal. It's absolutely insane. Either way, uh, if you guys didn't know uh, sort of the lore behind this, essentially, um back in the olden days, I think it was like the 1920s, I want to say. I don't know this exactly. I learned about it in school, but it was a long time ago. Uh, but in the 1920s, I think uh, during a radio show, um, they used to essentially like read books, uh, sort of like a book on tape sort of a thing, or there were plays made for um, audio listeners and things like that, and they'd be acted out by different uh, characters and things like that on the radio in lieu of TV. Um, and so War of the Worlds was one of those. And it was uh, read out on the air and apparently caused quite a mass panic because people thought it was a real news broadcast, uh, essentially saying that the war was being taken over by these giant tripod things. Now, that's not entirely true. I actually learned about this in my communications class uh, about uh, broadcasting and the history of broadcasting and things like that. Um, and from what I learned uh, in college was that 
Yes, uh, it did cause a little bit of a panic, but it probably wasn't like an entire city like sort of the legend is. By the way, that striker just got annihilated. Um, so yeah, the legend of this uh, story is that like it caused mass panic in the streets of New York and all that. But in reality, uh, what actually probably happened according to actual eyewitness accounts was that this was read on the radio and like two or three gullible people believed it and called into the radio station in a panic and called 911 and stuff like that. It wasn't the entire New York City, uh, you know, people of New York City panicking and being like, oh my god, we're about to be taken over by aliens or anything like that. It was just a few people and then uh, it just sort of became folklore that, you know, it caused a mass panic. Uh, even though, it, you know, it might have caused, yes, a bit of a panic, but certainly not a mass panic. Either way guys, back to this crazy mod that we're seeing here. As you can see, most of the infantry in the front lines here has been completely destroyed. There's just a few soldiers hiding behind barrels and cowering, which I don't blame them at all. I mean, look at this. This is disgusting. The amount of damage these guys could do, it's absolutely insane. We are seeing some tow missiles being fired out. It looks like we actually have like a firing line almost of Humvees over here just spraying these things with tow missiles trying to take them down but to little or no avail. I mean these things are just so unbelievably powerful it's really difficult to take them out. Either way we do have more Abrams moving forward uh, from our little convoy here as well as some more U.S. soldiers uh, sprinkled in there as well. So we'll see if uh, the power of this convoy can maybe manage to take one of these things out. Uh, but these massive tripods are starting to actually aim at the convoy now, and that could spell some serious problems for our U.S. soldiers. There goes one of the Abrams. It literally just has to look at an Abrams to take it out, and that Abrams is basically kaputz. It gets kapuyad into non-existence. It's just so unbelievable. Unbelievably brutal. Oh, look at this. The convoy over here is just already decimated. There's just a few Humvees in the back there, and even some of these are taking shots, like that Warhog that was on the on the ground there, already losing. There's uh, just so much destruction. It's crazy. Tow missiles still impacting it. Those seem to be the most powerful weapon against this thing, but even still, they're not doing anything. The second convoy that what came over this way is already destroyed essentially all of the Abrams down from that uh, and we basically just got a bunch of Humvees in the way way back here still alive firing at these things. That is just immense brutality. The sheer amount of destruction these things can cause is just insane. So we're going in fast speed here just to uh, finish this off watching these Humvees uh, slowly get eviscerated uh, by these massive tripods. Uh, there's a few more over this way. Yep, and they're getting diced up as well. Uh, so clearly the U.S. defense here did not really work out, and these things managed to clobber them with ease. So why don't we go ahead and try this again, but maybe with just one tripod. We'll, we'll try and make it a little bit easier on the humans. All right, boys, we're going to run it back with the same U.S. defense here of hundreds of troopers and uh, probably like... 50 or 60 vehicles, but just one of these tripod monsters for them to focus on. Let's go ahead and see if this time around they can maybe make something happen because last time around they certainly didn't, that's for sure. So here we go, go the tripod monster starts its reign of terror. It seems to have some sort of shielding around it, so I guess you have to defeat the shields before you can actually like kill this thing or, or maybe when the shields are depleted it does get killed it's sort of like in the Star Wars Galaxy at War mod where the ATTEs do have shielding uh, that you have to get rid of before you can actually like kill the ATTE or, or something like that you know so I think that's sort of the same thing with this mod in in this except for in this mod the shield is almost impossible to take out but you can tell that with uh, you know just one of these things it's seriously nerfed. The, the U.S. soldiers are surviving a lot longer, at least the boys over here are. The guys on the left side, I think, fared far, far worse. <laughs> yeah, there's like a puddle of bodies over here. God, they're just getting eviscerated. This is just brutality. Man. Oh, God! Oh, the humanity! Wow! Yikes! It's just, it's a little painful to watch, in fact. These, these poor souls, these poor, poor souls. But the first of the vehicles are beginning to come forward here. Uh, we do have a striker firing out, and some tow missiles are clearly connecting right there as well. So that's good. Let's bump it up a speed here and, and get this party started. I want to see this thing fire into it. Let's see that happen. Come on. Give it the old one-two-cup-poo-ya punch, baby. Come on, striker. 
I believe! Oh god. It's starting to zero in on the striker. I am very nervous for this thing's life. Fire! Shoot! Come on! Oh god, it's about to kill it, isn't it? Oh, it's killing the dudes in front of it, that's for sure. And the guys to the left. This thing cannot be alive for much longer. There we go! It fired a shot, and it didn't seem to really have much impact. But so much fire is going into these boys. We've got Abrams coming up. We've got more strikers coming up. This is uh, basically everything we've got in our arsenal right now on this airbase. <laughs> Coming forward and just spam firing this thing, and it's still winning somehow. Oh my god. Alright, let's get an overview of this right here. Um, we've also got, of course, these uh, uh, tow missiles back here. Oh, there's there's more reinforcements coming in over here. Are they from over here, too? Oh, these guys never even came forward. What? Oh, come on. Come on. Come forward. Did I mess up the programming on those or something? I, I must have, I'm guessing. Alright, well, we'll get them forward. Come on. Come on, lads, go forward, go forward. Let's let's get a move on. Pedal to the metal, baby. Okay, so I'm getting those guys forward. These guys are still putting up a good fight against this thing. Let's see if we can do this. We are definitely, maybe, probably not having an impact on this thing. I have no idea, to be honest. You know, at least with Star Wars, you can kind of tell, like, okay, this thing's like half dead. Just a little bit more. But with this thing, I've never seen one die. So I have no idea how many shots we have to put into this thing. To actually kill it i also don't know what's the most effective against it you know like is it bullets that are most effective oh it's 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 shielding is down oh oh it's dying it's dying oh 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 it's gonna topple oh my god whoa that's actually so cool what a sick animation. Oh! Oh, explode. Come on, please explode. That that would be the icing on the cake if it just exploded right now. Oh, God. Oh, God. Stop running over humans, please. Wow. Okay, it's not going to explode, but that was awesome. Well worth the payoff, and it took this many vehicles to kill one of these things. When there were four of these things on the battlefield, there was... None of them going down. It took literally an entire arsenal, an army, to take one of these things down. Absolute insanity, but that was so sick. I really enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comment section below if you guys would like to see a part two to this. Uh, we, we could definitely do more. I, I think this was just so fun and so cool. Please let me know in the comment section below. Be sure to hit that like button as well. Subscribe if you have not already, and comment down below. All right, guys, I hope you guys have an awesome day. Thanks so much for watching these videos. I know it's not Star Wars, but um, I have been really enjoying making these different mod videos, and, and it's good to see positive feedback in the comments from you guys. It seems like a lot of people are enjoying the new mods, so I'm going to keep doing them. Thank you guys so much for the support. Peace out. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.